So the so the It is Dre on the mic here, uh, also known as Flo Null. And we have a matchup between someone that I've heard of before and someone I haven't heard very much of, Cobra vs. Speedo Ninja. Speedo Ninja, a pretty decently known Link around here. Hello guys, Slide Power here. If you didn't know who I am, I'm, I'm new here, so... Oh, what a what an SD. Uh, <laughs> poor, poor Villager. Poor Villy. He did so well, too. He was actually getting a pretty good amount of damage. He just... Yeah, trust me, up the edge trust guard. me, you hate to see villagers SD. Yeah. I don't understand how- wow, what a combo. Nice. Very nice by Speedo Ninja racking up a decent amount right, of percent. nice nair. Yeah. Nice. He's using that nair for an edge guarding. I, I, it's- it's super- uh, a lot like Sheik's. It's uh, very good to just spike. use it to- Wow. He, what? He bounced <laughs> off both of the balloons and then he down just, his villagers. Oh. That, 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 that was that was a sweet. Oh, that was sweet. That was sick. Because in theory, that could have caught neutral, attack, roll, and jump. So that was just a really good option. What about spot dodge? Um, no, because he wouldn't have had time to spot dodge off of a neutral getup. Very nice falling there by Speedo. Good tech by Cobra there. Man, Speedo is just going for these edge guards like crazy. Yep. And, you know, even though Villager is a very, very obnoxious character to edge guard because of how good his recovery is, doesn't mean you can't rack up that percent, you know? And Link. Although it is a little bit hard to close out stocks in some circumstances, his up smash is Ooh. whoa! He almost, he almost the sniped guard? Link with the, with the pot, but yeah. But Link is a little bit too heavy to be KO'd by that. Very nice pressure being applied by Speedo. Oh, dash attack is that is it? That's gonna be it. So it's one zero. -oh, Speedo Ninja. Speedo taking the first game. That classic green Link. I don't. Th I don't think Kava should switch because I think I think Villager versus Link is a good matchup for Villager. Villager versus Link is very good for Villager, but um, Kava just needs to play, you know, a, a little bit more better, a little yeah. bit more aggressively. Or uh, would you say I would say defensively because Link can't break down his walls because he doesn't really have the speed to do so. Uh oh, why does I say he's gonna be more aggressive? He goes in. Huh. Nice pressure there, 26% lead, but Speedo is going to close that up by 5%, taking what damage he can. He tried to time that spot dodge properly to get uh, get away from that Lloyd. Fox but the Gale boomerang. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Nice dash attack. One of the biggest things in this matchup that would seem is versus Link, a lot like a lot of other swordsmen, he has enough damage that you kind of want to avoid trading with him as much as possible. And as Villager, you can stay away from that range that Link controls and you can't avoid trading. Oh, uh, he missed the bowling ball. If he got that bowling ball, Link... I don't think Link would have died, but he would have been sent near the blast zone. It would have been pretty risky. And Village is a very good character at edgeguarding, and Link is definitely not the hardest character in the game to edgeguard, so... I could have gone very well for Cobra. But he's still applying pressure on the map nonetheless. He's finding the tree. Nice up tilt. Nice up tilt that's going to catch the roll. It makes me question if that was bad DI because it did look like it took him a little while to get up there. I don't know because Villager's up tilt is actually deceptively strong, so it may be. Very nice spin attack out of pressure there by Link. Florida. Speedo just controlling a range. Cobra doesn't really seem ready to approach. There's a lot of times where Speedo will just put out just the right amount of hitboxes and projectiles in just the right spaces. And Cobra really isn't dealing with it well, and it's a big part of the reason he lost that first stock. Nice spin attack. Nice spin attack. That's not going to take the stock, surprisingly. Nice forward smash, Link. It, however, Link is too low for set to die from that. Was oh, that it? That's it. Oh, oh what he, kind of magnet hands? Oh man, he just barely makes that back. See, Speedo playing way too scared of the tree. He didn't even try to go for the down tilt spike there, and that could have been stock. Oh, back so, air. Just goes to show you got to be ready for situations like that. Don't let uh, 
Don't let your opponent condition you too much. Nice forward tilt. It's not going to take stock. Speedo really struggling to close out the stock here, and that is going to be an SD. And, and a two stock from Villager. Two stock from Villager. Definitely played that much better than game one. Oh, the chair is up there now. When did, when did the chair get up there? It's pretty swell. What stage do you think Villager benefits from most? Um, in this matchup, I would have to say Duck Hunt would be good because he can control a lot of space away from Link. But I think Battlefield is good because Link can't really play around platforms too, too much comparative to Villager who can Nair, who can Fair, who can Bear, who can stick turnips through platforms. Uh oh, is this, oh, this going to be Zero oh, Death? Oh, that might be... Oh, he messed up the edge guard. Although I'm not exactly sure why he would go for a forward air instead of opting out for another back air there just to put Speedo back off map. But very nice. Holding a 60% lead. Playing much better than he was game one. And a little bit better than game two even. Nice nair to back air. Oh, was that a fair or back air? Nair to pellets. <laughs> nair to pellets. <laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't. It's just like you can never really tell with Villager. Yeah, because both are basically the same thing. It's the same move, slightly different animations. That dash attack is going to cause Speedo because it does do enough damage to blow up Lloyd in his face for putting it out in the wrong places. Nice jabs. The back air, very nice. Ooh, good rising there by Speedo. Forcing... Villager back into neutral. Oh, he's gonna pocket the bomb. He's he, he's he drops it. Nice arrows. But he's that last one was way too laggy. He can't be doing arrows that close. Yeah, yeah, because if some if you do arrows too close, they could easily just dash shield it. Yeah. Roll behind they can roll and if you're they're really close, you can just they can just roll behind you and grab you. Very nice smash attack. Closing out the stock very even here on Smashville, a stage that I think is equally beneficial for both of them. When did Villager plant the tree? I didn't see that. He planted it as he came back with his invincibility. Oh, okay. Yeah. Speedo doing that for glory roll in there. Uh oh. The young for glory approach double roll. Nice there again, but it will not confirm into the grab that he wants. Oh, down there. Link unfortunately doesn't have the aerial frame data to challenge Villager in a situation like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Vill yeah, Link is not really. He doesn't have. He's not known for having the best aerial mobility or best aerial flame data. Okay. Isn't the character with the best aerial mobility Huff, or is it? Uh, best aerial mobility is Yoshi. Yoshi. Yoshi? Yeah, Yoshi's aerial mobility is bonkers. Not to mention his double jump has like it has literally armor. Yep. Nice down there. Very nice down there. Oh, he's yep. got the tree out. Oh, he didn't sweet spot ledge. Copper could have took stock for that. All right, Copper tried to read Link's get up and tried to go up so but missed it. Speedo can do a lot here. Pocket in this matchup definitely doesn't mean nearly as much as it does in other matchups because unlike Diddy Kong or even, you know, Bowser Jr. in this situation, he doesn't have to rely on bomb too much because he can take out as many bombs as he wants. So by pocketing one bomb, Villager isn't doing much aside from giving himself more item pressure than he had before. That's a very that nice jab to spin it. Yeah, that was sweet. He did, ja he did double jab into up B in the, yeah. in the neutral. That was a tight kill. Very nice way to close out stock. I know Link has a lot of jab-jab shenanigans to 